Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn about Markerless AR and how you can configure it on your application. Markerless is an AR type in Zoho Creator that does not require prior knowledge of a user's environment to overlay virtual 3D content. Instead, it allows you to scan the real environment and place digital elements on the flat surface. This offers more control to users as it allows them to choose where they would like to place the virtual augmented objects in real world. For example, customers can preview the furniture design and check if it suits their space from the comfort of their homes. It saves the buyers time and effort, allowing them to make informed decisions. Let's consider the example of an order processing app to understand this better. The screen you see now is the order form which is used to collect customer orders. Adding an AR field lets customers preview the furniture design or model before placing their order. AR configuration involves two simple steps. One, creating an AR library and two, adding and configuring the AR field to the form. To begin, let's create an AR library by adding a few sample pieces of furniture. To do that, go to the microservices section, click the create new button and select AR library. Name the library and choose the markerless AR type. Let's add the AR elements by uploading the 3D models and giving them relevant names. Remember that Zoho Creator only supports the following file types for uploading 3D models. The AR library will consist of multiple AR sets. We can store a specific collection of AR elements in each set. And in each AR element, the 3D model and its relevant data will be stored. You can create a combined total of 50 AR sets that includes marker-based and markerless types and add up to 30 AR elements in each AR set. You can also change the default view and thumbnail by clicking on the uploaded 3D model. Once the preview pop-up opens, you can rotate the model to the desired view using the pointer. Click on Save Current View as Thumbnail. And you can see that the thumbnail of the model has changed. In case of default view of the model is inappropriate, you can change it this way. You can remove the uploaded 3D model by clicking the remove button or remove the entire AR element by clicking the delete icon on the right. Once we create an AR set, we can add additional elements to the set by clicking on the add button or modify the existing elements by clicking on the edit button. You can also move specific AR elements to another AR set, export the models or even delete them if required. Next, let's proceed to add the AR field type to the order form. To do that, let's go back to solutions, open the apps editor and select the AR field from the special field section. Let's choose the AR set we created earlier, the furniture AR set. You can add or remove AR sets using the plus and minus icons. Let's add the field. The markerless AR field acts as a drop-down and AR viewer so you can choose the furniture and preview it from the same field. Give an appropriate name for the field, select furniture and click done. Let's look at how this AR configuration works while accessing the app on different devices. As you can see, when we click the select furniture field, the drop-down menu shows the AR set and its elements along with the chosen thumbnail. After selecting the model from the drop-down, we can preview the 3D model by clicking on the model's thumbnail. There are two modes in which you can view the 3D model. One, object mode. Two, AR mode. Since we are in the web app, you can only preview the model in object mode. You can view the model in 360 degrees, zoom in and zoom out to look at the model in more detail. This can be done using trackpad gestures, the plus and minus icons, or by selecting the zoom level from the drop-down menu. You can also make annotations on the model. For example, if you want to change the handle type of a desk, you can make a note of it and the store owner will see it after you have placed your order. The undo and redo buttons at the bottom allows you to undo or redo actions. Using the resender button, we can bring the model back to the recently modified version. The tips button provides information on how to view or annotate the models. While using the same field on your smartphone, you get an additional AR mode to view the model along with the object mode. The object mode is similar to what we saw in the web app. Additionally, the AR mode lets you see how well the furniture fits in your home using the camera on your smartphone. This helps the user make informed and clear decisions before placing an order as they get to preview the products beforehand on how well they fit their home. 
Hence, it saves time and energy by eliminating customers' need to go to stores to look at the products in detail. This is just one instance where using AR in Zoho Creator can be beneficial. Similarly, you can configure and customize this feature based on your unique business requirements. We hope this video gave you an overview of how to configure Markerless AR. Check out our other videos to learn about augmented reality in Zoho Creator. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.